Hi, Hi guys. guys, my name is Jules and I'm Claire and today we're going to discuss to you how to host an event or a party like a pro like a pro yeah hey I work hard every mother day yeah 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 Before we proceed with our discussion for today, we have some prerequisites for you guys to remember. Julian? So, you have to have a very pleasing personality and also a very flexible attitude, especially when problems arise. You're better off knowing what to do whenever a problem arises than sorry, not knowing a thing or two to save yourself. Right. So, we're going to split this discussion with into two parts. The first part is the before and the second is the during. This one is... Just to impress. So as they say, first impression last. So you would want to create an impression that will make you stand out from the rest. If it's an event, make sure you dress appropriately with the location. For example, if it's in school, a shirtless pants combo would be nice. However, if it requires it to be a wee bit formal, you can wear a polo top in with crop pants or a dress that suits your preference match with either sneakers or leather shoes or flat or heels. Remember that this is all according and based on your preference. Next up is if it's a party, whether or not it's a house party or at an events place, you always have to mix three things. Comfort, style, and appropriateness. Personally, I'd go for black cotton shorts from H&M or track pants from Adidas topped with a shirt from my staple brand, just like this one. Don't blame the kids then my trusted Air Force Ones would do the trick. But since, again, summer is near, mm -hmm. a polo plus shorts combo would do the trick. It's very comfortable and it's very, very stylish. Next up is to know, know the, the sequence, sequence of, of events. events. The key to the success of hosting any event or party is preparation. Make sure that as a host, you know the flow of the program so that it don't cause, it don't cause any delays. If it's an event, knowing what to do and when to do it is the most vital. Make sure nothing wrong happens or nothing would be changed last minute. Last minute changes causes chaos within the event. This is very, very true. I once organized the dance night and way back in grade 10. And it's very hectic. I had to run around and around around in circles just to trying to um, make sure everything is in place. And it's well, it was very um, fulfilling but also tiring and I slept for the like, whole day the next day. On the other hand, if it's a party, especially if it's a house party, you have to plan out the series of activities that you can all do at the same time. For example, on one side, there are people playing billiards. billiards. And then the other, there are people playing board games like Jenga. Making anything and everything available makes them more interested to stay out the whole party. Again, if they don't have anything to do, why would they actually go? If they get bored in one thing and they don't have any other option to go for, they'd leave early. So, would you want to party alone? It's not a party. It's not a party if you're alone. Next, know a thing or two about the performer or guest. As a host, you wouldn't want to be so unknowledgeable towards your performers or guests since it will make you seem unprepared to your audience. So if it's an event, knowing your performers well can help you interact with them. Being a host means you have to be able to talk with ease about the upcoming activities. So it's very important to do your homework, research. Personally, I can vouch for this since I also, um, I also hosted the dance night yeah. just this year in December, and I had to um, research about how about the names of the groups of the performers. Uh, where their names came from and what they're actually going to do since how would I be able to introduce them if I don't know a thing or two about them since personally I do not want to write scripts anymore I'd rather just um, I'd rather just have uh, note cards and then my ad libs would be um, how do you say this my ad libs I'll just insert the ad libs in between in a party on the other hand knowing your guests enable you be able to prepare the house or the events place according to their preferences and also be able to plan out the things you can say to interact with them you never know when you might be able to say something offensive so you have to have this concept um, of what to say not a script never write a script you just have to have an overall idea of what to say when to say it and how to say it 
just be conversational just let the let the event flow naturally on its own and get the vibe to yourself as well fourth on this list is to plan an activity for you and or the guests to be able to interact together a dull moment or an awkward silence is a big no-no you must you must keep the interaction going between you and your guests or between the guests themselves so if it's an event hyping the crowd with chants or making them shout the next performer's name can get them really hyped throughout the whole night make sure you can get their energies up and more most importantly sustain it again this is from this is all based from real experience where i had to make silent sanctuary but i have to make this crowd just keep shouting silent sanctuary's name because they were late but i don't know how many minutes but they were late for a party you have to make sure that there's enough food and drink food. booze is optional but you have to have them you have to have enough food and drinks throughout the whole night personally i'd go for the drinks first she'd go for the food first. i love food who doesn't but <laughs> i in my party my first agenda is to um, be conversational and interact with people so that's why i just drink not alcoholic drink don't generalize <laughs> and now we're going to move up to the jury this is the D day and the day you've been preparing for the party day the party day so first on this list is to always 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 be confident throughout the night and even after just be confident feel honored that you were chosen to be the host of a party or an event remember you are the one who sets the atmosphere if it's an event make sure to show confidence on stage even if you are facing bumps or sudden changes in a program it is really sometimes inevitable you know to experience some kind of sudden changes last minute changes but you just have to stay calm and stay focused since in that way you can properly think on what can you do the alternatives to cover up the problem in a part it's very much the same what you have to do the, uh, and the priority <laughs> in this in a party the difference is that you just have to make your guests comfortable that's the number one priority that's right comfort is key to a party and that's what you have to always think first than the other than the other thing that you have to keep in mind next up is to set, set the, the right, right mood it is always important to take note of the type of party or an event you are hosting does it require a relaxing or a calming music or something that is upbeat electronic or pop if it's an event the jolly personality that you already have is the key the audience can feel what you feel therefore you should always set the mood right well and before the program on the other hand if it's a party setting the mood would make or break the party if you get everyone to sing and dance with the music you're on the right track next up is to let the vibe run its course some in general or in summary let the vibe come out naturally if it's an event make sure the vibe runs naturally through the music playing in the background to the each and every performance if it's a party never ever force them to do anything never, never. Ever. Make sure the games and activities are for everyone and for everyone so everyone could get a chance to vibe in with the group. Next up is if a problem comes up, never, never, never show them you're panicking. If it's an event, panic can get the event disorganized and you yourself as the host as well as to your audience will lose their hype. <laughs> if it's a party, uh, your set of activities would be key to be able yeah. to distract them and buy you some time to solve the problem. If they're doing something, you'd have the time to solve the problem. And fifth and last on this list is make sure you get to eat. Eat. You're yourself. You have to make yourself comfortable and you're supposed to enjoy what you prepare. Well, to sum up this, uh, this caution about how to host a party or an event like a pro, whether it's a party or an event, you always make sure to make your audience or guests feel warm and comfortable with you as the host and to whatever you make them do. Keep everything in place and running smoothly for a great event. And keep the food and drinks running and satisfy their minds and their stomachs for an unforgettable party. And that's it. Again, my name's Jules. I'm Claire. And we out. I work hard every mother day, yeah, yeah, yeah.